under the apple tree, the quince and plum tree, the garden's called... Hello, hello. How are you? Good. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see you. What sort of morning have you had, Gita? This project is uh, for bringing people into the garden and coming up with a, a singing group is just such a really natural way to gather. <laughs> Hello, Janie. Come in, come in. We breathe together, we laugh together, uh, we've got to know each other. It connects people. The city dreams like the sheep on the hill Michaelmas daisies sing Wind breathes out, grasses fill the garden's gathering in what we've been doing is just, I think, finding our voices, individual but also as a choir. And Emily makes it so, so easy and so accessible for everybody, um, which is just phenomenal. Only the honeybee! It just feels really lovely. I cancel all the other things that normally happen on a Monday so that I can do this. It's so beautiful to hear particularly women's voices, I think, and doing the different parts, you feel it inside you. And I don't think it's just the vibration of the notes. It's, it's something I can't describe. But when you hit those harmonies, it's so beautiful. And it heals you. I'm sure, I'm sure. When people come and sing together, it often means you can let go of your worries and troubles. You're just listening to the music, hearing your voice, thinking about the words. Now is the letting go. Now is the letting go. Plant your courage and grow. Plant your courage and grow. Untangle the day. Untangle the day. Rest a while. Rest a while. And also at the same time just enjoying being here in, in the community and benefiting from this place that a lot of people have put a lot of time into and a lot of love and a lot of care. You forget about whatever has been going before you come into your body and you come into company and it's a very uncomplicated kind of relationship. It's just lovely. But at the same time, it's quite intimate. It really does tick so many wonderful boxes. Give me a big cheesy smile. Yeah. Hello, okay. gorgeous. Hello. Yeah, how are you this morning? A local woman, Millie, who lives just here, she says she can hear us over the fence. And so she puts her coat on and she comes and joins us and tells us some of her stories. And I've got a little bit of her uh, lyric in one of the songs as well about her childhood looking after the sheep and I know actually it's become a really regular part of her week. I'm not surprised you come round when you hear us. I am surprised that not more people come round because it is such a lovely experience. Yeah but thank you for having me, thank you very much. No, it's, it's lovely. It's the particular times that we're living in, um, Covid, so I mean for me it is particularly important to to get out and actually do exactly what we're doing, to yeah. be in the company. It's important for all of us to get out and meet the lovely people. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. No, it's, it's so essential. It's really good for for the soul. Welcome everybody.